Okay, so let's do another one of these uh, coordination complex naming it. So hopefully you can see already that this one is actually um, a salt of a coordination complex because we've got this sodium atom in front of there. So this, act, this coordination complex comes from the formation of the sodium ion with this gold complex there. Okay, so this is the actual complex ion in there. So that's an actual complex. So um, how do we name these? Well, first you want to put the name of the um, ionic metal first. Okay, so we call this sodium. And then we do the na regular naming rules. Okay, so let's erase this portion to get that out of our way. And so let's just think of this. So remember, uh, we do the ligands first, and before that we put the um, prefix, right? Okay, so um, in this case it's going to be uh, tetra and fluorine, right, is a negatively charged ligand, okay? So we're going to have to change the name. It's fluoro. F-L-O-R-O, -O, fluoro, so tetrafluoro, and then gold is one of those weird, weird ones. It's orate. Okay? And remember, fluorine is negatively charged, so if you want to, you can even do it again. Right? So we've got four F minuses, like that. So if the whole thing is minus charge, then that must mean the gold must be 3 plus, like that. So in parentheses, we put a 3. Okay? So this is called sodium tetrafluoroborate 3. Any questions on that one? Oh, and then I have the, I built the compound here. So if you imagine the, um, fluorines to be the green atoms there. The gold, here's the sodium, it's just the counter ion, right? The gold to be the silver atom there. Um, you can see that this um, AUF4 minus uh, complex ion is also square planar, okay, with the 90 degree angles between the bonds, okay? Um, any questions on this one?